Hey guys, Derek Tech here. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the newly released iOS 5. The first thing that stood out to me most, and is probably my favorite thing, is iMessage. It's just like um, text messaging, but you're on an iPod or an iPhone. It's just like iPhone um, SMS, but you can send pictures, everything really quick. The person gets it within seconds. I think it's like IM. It's faster than text message and it's great easily my favorite thing on iOS 5 so far next is one of Apple's apps that they preloaded into iOS 5 just so everyone has it it's reminders this is a really nice app that gives you a little ring like an alarm but it's for reminders so you just set a reminder and it'll remind you <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> what you need to do you can just say oh yeah I need to go get books or I need to go to bed at a certain time or something like that and it will remind you when you want to be reminded of that so this is really great for people who forget easily and just a regular person who needs to remember stuff all the time like a business person so this is a great app number two as far as iOS 5 goes as far as the biggest thing Next thing in iOS 5 is newsstand. It's preloaded on your springboard, you can't take it off. So this is basically a little folder where you can put all your newspapers. You just go to the store, newspaper store, and there's a whole bunch of newspapers. Most of them are free. I don't know if they're all going to stay free, but they're pretty cool. You might as well use it. And they update you instantly so you don't have to wait to go get a newspaper and newsstand. Next is the pull down notification center. Now you just pull this down and it's got stocks, weather, and your notifications like emails, messages, Twitter, anything like that. And you can just click right on it and it'll take you right to it. I've heard that you'll be able to buy and get free widgets soon once developers start making them. But for now, it's just like this. And then when you get a notification, it pops right up on the top portion instead of blocking up your screen while you're playing apps. The next pretty cool thing is the new lock screen, how when you double click on the lock screen, you can take pictures right from there. And some people think, oh yeah, if you click home, they're going to be go be able to go right in without the lock. That's a no, because it just goes right back to the passcode. Good thing for us. Another cool thing is that you can get a photo stream where when you take pictures on iCloud, it goes straight to your computer and downloads straight there if you have internet connection. Also, there's a bunch of new settings, so you can go through your settings and just go through all of them and you'll find all these new things on iCloud and everything. You can manage your storage so that you can delete things in your backup and other things. Also, you can buy more storage for your iCloud. Pretty spendy, but if you really have a lot of stuff, this could be really worth it. Now this definitely isn't everything that we got in iOS 5, but these are some of the main things and the things that I thought were really interesting. Now check out my latest videos, and if you really like my videos, consider subscribing and liking this video. See you next time.